Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 Functions Review and this is question 7 from the Rational section. Which function out of that group there has a domain where x can't equal 1 and a range where y can't equal 3? Okay, let's take a quick look here. So for this one right here, um, the, just look at the rational part of this, okay? This is going to be uh, undefined when x is equal to 1 here. So this does give us a domain where x can't equal 1. Now ignoring the minus 3, because I know that the minus 3 represents a vertical translation 3 and it's down. Just look at the the function here, this rational function, the degree of 1, the degree of 1, okay, meaning that the the horizontal asymptote here will be the ratio of the leading coefficients, so 1 over 1. This is going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1, okay, which is the, the gap in the range here. Now if move that down 3, meaning that the range here is going to be y cannot equal negative 2. Well, that's not the thing that we're looking for, so we move on. Uh, this one right here, in order to work this one through, we've got to do a little bit of solving. Now, first of all, we should notice that, the, again, the ratio of leading coefficients, okay, because the degrees are the same, numerator and denominator, the ratio of leading coefficients is going to be the horizontal asymptote. So we can tell right now that the gap in the range is going to be at 3, okay, which is what I wanted here. Now, I'm going to factor the numerator out, and I'm going to get 3x times x minus 1. And then the denominator will factor down as, what is that, x minus 1, x minus 3. Okay. And now note it. Oh, sorry, did I get that right? I'm just going to double check that. Notice that x minus 1 over x minus 1, we are running into an issue here. x cannot equal 1. Okay. But it also has another problem here. X can also not equal 3. And so the domain is a little bit more complicated than what they're requesting. So it can't be B. Now I come over here. Again, comparing the degrees, it's linear over linear. So if I compare the leading coefficients, I'm going to get 3 over 1. There's my, there's my horizontal asymptote. There's my gap in the range. And X minus 1, well, this is going to be undefined when X is equal to 1. So X can't equal 1. There it is. There's my answer, uh, C. Now, just because it's it's a good discussion here, let's go on and take a look at D here. Again, comparing the degrees, okay? I know that my horizontal asymptote will be at 3. And again, there's my gap in the, in the range there. The denominator, though, this will be 3x squared. If you factor it, I get x, x minus 1. So yes, it is undefined at 1, but it's also undefined at 0. And again, there's too much going on there. This is the one that has exactly what we're looking for.